Good morning, everybody. So today, the infamous question, does size matter? Well, as the ladies are quick to point out, yes, indeed it does. However, is there ever too much? We're gonna try and find out today. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be installing the Timbrin Suspension Enhancing System on our 2020 Silverado. Just one more step uh, to towing safely and uh, getting rid of that sag. We gotta stop the squat. Okay guys, so what we're doing right now is we're just gonna lift the back of the truck up a little bit. And I normally wouldn't use the hitch to do the jacking up, but I'm only using it to stretch the suspension some. I'm not actually trying to get the tires off the ground or anything else. This will just give us a little bit of room between the um, axle and where we're gonna be installing the timbrins on the frame. So it actually is better to even use this to take the old ones out, because otherwise it's just super tight in there. So give yourself some space. Make sure you give yourself um, enough room to get your hands in there safely, and always use your jack stands, because even if it came down a little ways, it's gonna hurt. Okay, so we got her all, ja okay, so we got her all jacked up. It's held in place by the safety stands, and we'll have some space to get our hands in there safely. So the tools you're going to need for this job, to remove your factory one, these are on the 2020 Silverado 1500 or the GMC Sierra. You're going to need a 10 millimeter. I've got a quarter inch drive just so that the diameter is not too big to get up in that little hole. So a quarter inch drive with a reducer to a, um, or excuse me, adapter to a 3 8. So that's what we're going to do to get our factory one off. Then for the Timberin, we've got to use a 17 millimeter deep well with a, 3 8 extension and the 3 8 ratchet. So 10 millimeter deep well, quarter inch drive, 3 8 drive, 17 millimeter deep well. That should be all we need, guys. On the driver's side, it's a lot easier to come in from in front of the axle because otherwise the shock absorber is really in your way. So here's the factory bump stop. And this is what I was talking about, giving yourself a little space. You could see if we had it, no jack under there, we wouldn't have any room at all here. So then um, just get on there. It's pretty tight, actually, for a little 10 millimeter. And just uh, start unscrewing until you get her loose. Okay, so now we got her all really loose. Just got a couple threads left here. And it just comes out just like that. So easy enough. Okay guys, so see there is a washer in there. We're gonna have to get that centered up with the hole. So I'll flip that down and um, we'll get it lined up. So it's, see where it's lined up perfectly right now? In there, so we just gotta get our bolt through that. So you wanna make sure you get the washer. Okay, so there we have the washer and the bolt sticking through it. I'm using the short bolt because we're not gonna use that one inch plate, the extender on this one. So here I've got the bolts holding through so I won't lose the washer. So I'm just going to lay this down on the side real quick. Here's the plate that comes in the kit. So we'll put this on the end of the nut or this bolt as well. Then we'll put the whole assembly up there as one unit. Okay, so here's the plate with the bolt going through it and the washer all centered up. So now we're ready to do the install up there, guys. So I'll use the um, 17 millimeter deep well and the 3 8 drive with the extension on it. And I'll put that all through here before I try to put it up in there, because otherwise it's pretty difficult one-handed. Okay, so we're just last few turns here. There's no real torque number. So like I always tell you guys, you don't need to have the strength of 10 men and try to break anything off or strip it out. You get it super snug and um, we'll call it good with that. So I think we're about there. Well, got the timbrins installed and um, they tell you to have about half inch to inch and a half of spacing. Um, so you can see we're pretty close to two inches on mine, but this is actually what I want, a little bit less maybe. But um, because of the fact that we've got the Roadmasters on here and the truck generally takes quite a bit of weight anyway, I'm going to see how we do with these. I'm going to hook them up to the trailer empty and see what kind of gap we've got. It's about a 3,600-pound trailer empty. Okay, guys. So we're hooked up to the trailer now. Um, 
it doesn't have a car in it but it's not empty per se because i do have the gear we use for hauling a car so uh 3900 pounds it's not 3600 and it looks like we're right at between three quarters and seven eighths of an inch so we'll see yeah pretty close to seven eighths so we'll see i don't actually want it touching all the time i just want it there as a safety stop um kind of to work in uh concert with the roadmasters so i'd like the roadmasters to take most of the load and the factory suspension and these just be a you know the super saver so we'll see how they go i'm going to run a trip pretty soon uh, but i'm going to throw a car in here before we take a trip and i'll remeasure these and let you know so hopefully you got something out of this video guys and it will help you to make an informed decision on if you want the timbrins or not or if you need the spacer or not i feel they're an excellent product i used them on tow trucks in the past um, they definitely were firm riding though um, so take that into consideration anyway our idea here at naughty donkey is to help educate people um, help them make wise decisions and you know learn how to do things along the way so if you did get anything out of today's video please like and subscribe and uh, comment let us know what you'd like to see um, we'll try to get it to you you know money's no object in our game so thanks a lot love you guys take care